The first Chevrolet Cruze sedans appeared in 2008 in South Korea under the name Diwoo Lissetti Premier, replacing the just Lissetti of the 2001 model. And we have the vast majority of cars from St. Petersburg's Shushery, where GM has launched production since September 2009. But regardless of citizenship, Cruze is decently painted, chips appear only from severe wounds by stones and are in no hurry to bloom. Blisting paint and corrosion on the trunk lid is not a rule, but rather an exception inherent in copies of the first years of production. Here is the bubbling or peeling off of pieces of a chrome coating from the plastic of a false radiator grill or a decorative lining of the trunk after three or four years, this is please. The blackening on the brackets of the side mirrors also does not hold up well. And do not take the bumper that has moved away from the wing as a sign of an emergency past in cars older than 2010, after a few years, the lining sags on its own, more often after parking in the sun, and weak fastening clips are to blame. But the first thing the cruise did was different, the joy of owning a brand new car was overshadowed by a flaky steering wheel, as if picked up by dandruff. So much so that fresh cruises with a mileage of 20 to 40,000 kilometers that came from maintenance, in addition to changing the oil, were forced to install a new steering wheel. After 2010, the coating was changed, the paint began to stay on the leatherette longer, but after three or four years, a similar sad fate can befall the leatherette upholstery of the chairs. In the very first frosty winter, it turned out that it was not worth trying to open the frozen windows, the glass was pulled out of the latches in an instant. And the stove cannot cope with the blowing of the fogging windows of the driver's door and the bottom of the windshield. And do not rush to change the cabin filter or shake up the guts of the air conditioner, this is the design feature of the air ducts. But if only cold or hot air comes out of the nozzles, or it stops blowing altogether, then the frail plastic damper rods have broken. The weather in the house and the mood are often spoiled by the heating elements of the front seats that stop working, the fuel level indicator, the audio system and the central lock. And the most common trouble with the electrician is the failure of the button to unlock the trunk lock, which is poorly protected from dampness. A button that has survived several winters is a miracle. Under warranty, they managed to change it several times, it happened starting from 10,000 kilometers. And do not delay the repair, even if it only occasionally malfunctions. In case of an unfortunate set of circumstances, the contacts short circuit and instantly empty the battery. And the battery is already threatened by glitches of electronic components. If you find crews standing in the parking lot spontaneously turning on the headlights, urgently call not ghost hunters, but an electrician to flash the brains, otherwise you will get tired of changing the battery. Engines The engines on the Russian cruises were exclusively gasoline, and not without problems. The most well-deserved and popular, 55% of the cars on the market, sluggish 1.6 engine of the F-16 D3 series passed the cruise from Chevrolet Lissetti, which he inherited from Diwunexia, and is rooted in Opel power plants of the late 80s. The gasket of the plastic valve cover is still taken to be snotty after 40 to 60,000 kilometers, with the strong, cold, filling candle wells with oil and finishing off the already not very durable high voltage wires. Valve stems are overgrown with deposits. And this is in addition to other primordially opal problems that still pop up to this day, oil leaks starting after 100,000 kilometers through the seals of the cylinder head, oil pan, filler neck, this relic unit has acquired the weakness of oxygen sensors. And on cars older than 2013, he got into the habit of independently changing the speed or stalling at idle. So, if you don't want to be left on the go without the help of power steering and brakes, keep your throttle valve clean and new versions of engine control unit firmware. They are also able to bring ignition coils, one per pair of cylinders. Hydro bearings in the valve mechanism are not particularly hardy, to make life easier for them, it is better to change the oil before the prescribed 15,000 kilometers. And do not forget to keep an eye on the timing belt, if it breaks, the valves will inevitably meet with the pistons. For Ecotec Z-Series engines with a volume of 1.6 liters, 9% of cars, and 1.8 liters, 34%, Familiar from the Opel Vector C model of 2002, the timing belt drive is more reliable, and instead of hydraulic pushers, simple shims, valve clearances rarely have to adjust before 120 to 150,000 kilometers. But cars older than 2013 with a 1.8 engine were initially marked by an unsuccessful fuel rail line that could depressurize. Ask the previous owner if he missed the recall campaign that happened on this occasion. If the connection has not been changed, do it immediately. 
the reason for the sudden diesel rattling of the pre-styling Ecotec cruise with a range of 50 to 80,000 kilometers is not difficult to unravel. The source of the rattling will certainly be found under the valve cover. The main thing is to change not only worn-out camshaft gears with the CVCP, continuous variable camshaft phasing, variable valve timing system, but also one of the most common culprits of the disease, a phase shift control solenoid valve with a clogged mesh filter. In no case should you save on the quality and timing of replacing the motorboat and for another reason, the skinny thin oil scraper rings that are stuck will bring the lubricant consumption up to a liter per thousand kilometers. And at the same time, it would not be bad to update the candles, otherwise, the ignition module, which is the same for all cylinders, may fail. The most recent unit, the 1.4 turbo engine of the A14 series, which debuted on the Astra in 2009, and got to cruise after restyling in 2013, loves to eat oil, and confirms its relationship with the oldest F16 D3 engine with a branded valve cover leak. But the hassle with the timing chain drive, valve hydraulic bearings and a turbocharger, subject to good lubrication, as a rule, does not deliver for years. And after 60 to 80,000 kilometers it can be upsetting by failures of the mass air flow sensor, clogged canister and intake manifold valves and a whistling pump bearing. Transmission. What cruise has the most reliable of all is the old 5-speed Mechanics D16, or MFH as GM designates, a direct continuation of the F16 line of units from the 80s, inherited from the Opel Vector A car. Is it the same as a Nexia and Lissetti? The clutch for a loaded cruise is rather weak, after 50 to 80,000 kilometers, more often in pre-styling cars, it starts to twitch due to uneven wear or draft of the damper springs and screen with the release bearing. Closer to 100,000 kilometers, a noticeable backlash of the main gear may appear, but the assembly is easy to adjust without disassembling the box. Unnecessary sounds when depressing the clutch pedal are treated with axle lubrication, and so that at the most inopportune moment the gears do not refuse to turn on, monitor the state of the shift mechanism, the plastic sleeve of the backstage has a habit of breaking, and the drive cables wear out due to lack of lubrication and suddenly jump off. However, Against the background of the machine, with the pseudonym Hydromatic, this is also, childish pranks. Six-speed gearboxes of the 6T30-6T40 series, aka GF6, are universally lightweight, designed for a smaller torque version of the quite successful 6T70-6T75 unit, created by GM together with Ford in 2006. In 2008, the younger brother, put into production in China and South Korea, appeared on the Chevrolet Malibu sedan, and since 2009 he began to run on the Korean line of Chevrolet cars. And children's sores fell like from a cornucopia. Torque converters, clutch and gear packs, oil pump bushings, retaining rings that bring the gear blocks to chatter, chain covers, a valve body with solenoids and an integrated ECU flu. It's easier to say with which note of the unfortunate box there were no problems. Automatic machines had to be repaired after a run of only 25 to 30,000 kilometers and the owner of a copy that survived to 100,000 was considered incredibly lucky. The first major upgrade was carried out in 2010, then the engineers continued to correct the situation in 2011, 2012, 2014. So, the younger the automatic cruise, the better. Gradually, the problems really noticeably decreased, the resource increased, but only to a very modest 160 to 180,000 kilometers, then, as a rule, you have to repair the torque converter with the replacement of friction discs and valve body. The box is extremely demanding on the purity and temperature of the working fluid. At the first suspicion, change the Dexran 6 oil along with the filter, preferably every 40 to 50,000. And in order to ensure against almost inevitable overheating, it makes sense to install an additional automatic transmission cooling radiator with the thermostat. The running gear couldn't be easier. The Chevrolet Cruze is based on the same GM Delta II front-wheel drive bogey that the Opel Astra uses. But if the front has the same McPherson struts, then at the back, instead of the what mechanism of the Astra or the multi-link of the predecessor Lissetti Cruze, it has a simple semi-independent beam. And this changed the durability of the suspension for the better. The rear silent blocks last longer than 150,000 kilometers, and before 100,000, even the front aluminum levers with non-removable ball bearings, wheel and thrust bearings rarely require attention. But for cars older than 2013, a short list of consumables, consisting of bushings and plastic stabilizer struts, was replenished with front shock absorbers. 
after 20 to 30,000 kilometers they began to flow, and almost from the first days of operation, they rattled on bumps with bypass valves, like peas in a tin bank. And the rear shock absorbers can prematurely fall prey to flying rod anthers. Cruz's richness of funny sounds is complemented by power steering. The congenital plumbing rumble of a long tube of the pressure line in cars of the first years of production is still not so bad. Worn-out power steering pumps were often changed under warranty. When you hear that the unit begins to raise its voice, immediately flush it and fill in a new working fluid. By the way, the Euro, which appeared on some modifications after restyling, delivers less worries. But brakes add even more colors to the sound picture. Driving in reverse can be accompanied by an eerie creak of warp pads, especially the vociferous cars of the first years of production. And even with the meager wear of the guide pins, the crews begins to comment on the meeting with each bump as loudly as during our accelerated resource tests it was done by its relatives Chevrolet Cobalt and Avio. Dealers have tried their best to combat the rattling, proprietary design, but the best advice is to clean and lubricate the guides at least once a year, at every maintenance. And be more careful with weak front brake discs. If you carelessly handle the pedal after 20 to 30,000 kilometers, they can lead, and getting into a puddle in a heated state finishes them off at once. In general, an elderly Chevrolet promises more trouble than a Toyota Corolla or Mitsubishi Lancer X. But the cruise looks attractive with age. And how tempting prices. Over the years, they fall rapidly, and the least problematic option is a restyled one with a well-deserved 1.6 engine and mechanics.